Hey, what's going on? It's that time for Word of the Day Wednesday. Come on, somebody on location at Starbucks, one of my favorite places to get my study on. Um, yeah, I see you see that part. Let's go. Shouts out to Saul at Chico Barber. But anyways, um, so did our Bible study this morning. Um, actually at a really cool uh, part in um, the story in the Gospels uh, where um, Jesus is in the Garden of Gethsemane um, which is a place where he prayed a famous prayer of thy will be done um, you know is going through a very hard time uh, actually to a point where man he sweat drops of blood That's, I've never done that before but it's pretty painful sounds like um and gethsemane is a hebrew word for crushing right and so jesus is going through this crushing um moment and um little thing that you know just kind of stuck out to me as we were studying um and man he's like praying right and he's telling his disciples to stay awake right and he tells them three times in this like prayer um uh, of just telling the disciples like hey i'm like going through a really hard time you guys stay awake and each time he comes back and the disciples are asleep i'm like man i could really relate man i'm i'm like a morning person um and so it gets pretty late man i'm watching a movie or whatever like i'm i'm gonna knock out you know i've definitely fallen asleep in a movie theater before um and it's like gosh it's late you know it's super late um and so i'm like man ease up jesus like it's, it's been a long day right and but it also made me think about and it was a time where jesus was asleep on the disciples right man when uh they were in a storm and in a boat man jesus was asleep while the disciples were freaking out right and so i'm like man what's the difference right one moment jesus is able to you know go to sleep and man it's good and the next moment the disciples were you know trying to catch some disease and it's bad right and here's the difference the difference is obedience okay and um in the boat man jesus was telling the disciples man fear not like i am in control of the winds and the waves and all this stuff like you don't need to be going crazy oh you have little faith right you can literally be like sleeping because you're not supposed to have any fear right and in uh, the garden of Gethsemane, when Jesus is literally telling them, like, stay awake, stay alert, right? And it's, it's obedience, right? And, and it's so crucial for us to know when to rest and when to be alert, okay? Man, it says our enemy prowls around. It says stay alert because we have an enemy who prowls around like a lion waiting for something to devour looking for someone to devour right um it says man that the the day of the lord is going to come like a thief in the night so don't be caught napping right and man i feel like a lot of times man society or you know the busyness of life will kind of lull us to sleep in our spiritual disciplines man in our walk of faith you know, we just get busy, especially around this time. It's holiday time. It's Christmas. We're, you know, thinking about shopping. And, you know, if you're in retail, you're, you're working long hours and all this stuff. And and we could just not be as sharp. We could not be um, as awake, just like these disciples, man, in this story. Um, and so super important, you know, um, as we are going about, man, our day to day, I want to remind you, man, stay alert, you know. Um, that you have a real enemy who man is waiting for a moment to strike a moment to strike in your marriage a moment to strike in your finances a moment to strike in man your relationships with your kids and all these different things and if we're caught napping that's the opportune time for him to jump in and wreak havoc in these areas in our, in our lives and so man jesus calls us to be alert okay um, that's, that's my word of the day, Wednesday. Hope you guys are encouraged uh, by that. Um, that's, that's all I got. All right. Have a good one.